Welcome back, boys, to their FIFA 23 content review on the channel. And finally, 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 we have the 99 footies messy SBC that dropped today in FIFA 23. I'm Slater. I read the content every single day in FIFA. Tell you what SBCs are good or bad value. Open casino SBCs so you can figure out if you want to open them too. And I will be doing this for the entirety of EAFC as well. So we're at the back end of FIFA, but very excited to get into EFC content and hopefully have a great year with you guys helping you along your EA now ultimate team journey. I usually say FIFA team, FIFA journey, but FIFA's dead, right? And the only way that FIFA's gonna die for me is that if I got this card, now I can finally move on with my life. Here is the Messi SBC. We kind of knew this was coming, right? They can't drop a Ronaldo and not drop a Messi. Those two are forever tied to each other, not only in world football history, but in FIFA as well. Everything that they kind of do together, they always end up with very similar like cards in terms of they both need to have a 99. They both need to have one big card, one big SBC every year, right? It's kind of the way that this game has always gone. And here he is, five star, five star, high, low. He is tearing up the MLS, which he should because MLS is not really that great in terms of player caliber and he's the greatest player of all time. So it makes sense that he's absolutely dominating, but it's been so fun to watch everything he's been doing, scoring free kick goals left, right, and center, just scored a worldie against Ecuador, I believe, in um, uh, international play too. So he's just been balling everywhere right now. Lionel Messi aging like a fine wine. He has crazy good stats, almost perfect shooting with nice shot power, perfect passing in everywhere that we need him to have passing stats in. Uh, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, 99 composure, 99 bounce. This guy just looks absolutely brilliant. Um, Ace and stamina is always kind of one of the big knocks on Messi. He's a beautiful cam or a secondary striker, or your main striker, he could totally play there too, but I, I think a cam for him is always my favorite spot to play Messi. He does have striker, right mid and right wing on him. He has a ton of traits, finesse, flair, playmaker, outside the foot shot traits, swerve, flare passes, chip shot, all those things. And what's cool is there is already that uh, Jordi Alba moments that you get from the preseason crafting upgrade objective and the biscuits card. So there are three really cool cards you can add to a team. He doesn't need a link. I'm just saying it's fun to have three different Inter-Miami players in your end game team at this point in the year. Just kind of a fun, unique thing to add to your squad. And if you want Lionel Messi, he is 16 segments less than Cristiano Ronaldo. I saw most people took about five to six hours to craft a Cristiano Ronaldo. So I would think if you were really dedicated and pushing, this should be about a three hour SBC to get a Lionel Messi done. He is a bunch of 93 squads, 92 squads, um, all the way up to 91 squads. You know, it doesn't really matter at this point in the year what the squads are. It's just a matter of if you want to go ahead and commit to it because you can do every SBC in the game, right? If you start your 85 by 10 grind and you go throughout the day, you will organically get every SPC done. And so if you want to get Lionel Messi done, go ahead and do it. I definitely am. I've said many times, this is the last card I need to move on. Um, so GGCA, if you guys are excited about the Messi SPC, man, hit that like button. Sub to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. I'm definitely gonna get this card done. I'm sick right now. I wasn't planning on streaming, honestly. I'm, I definitely have a cold, but I might have to just rev up a quick three hour stream, even though it's a detriment to my own health, because I need to get Lionel Messi done before I can retire from this game. It's just, I just need to get this card done before I can walk away from FIFA for the long haul. So there's Lionel Messi. We also have the new era three, this or two, I'm sorry, objective and SBC content. There was not one of these yesterday. This is the third installment. So you make sure you get this done. Um, it's a bronze squad, which gives you a one of three eighty four plus player pick, but more importantly, gets you another pack in the objective category and gets you a pack in EAFC for preseason content. So here is my player pick. Um, I got a 92 Jota, which is whatever, who cares? It's thank you, EA. That will go straight into Messi. Those cards that you're looking at right there, those will also go straight into Messi 1000%. And as I'm showing you here, that is the final segment. Um, that There's still four days, 23 hours left, so I'm assuming they're gonna release another installment of this. So if you miss one along the way, you should be fine. This does give you a two rare gold player pack with a base hero five game loan pack and a coin boost in EAFC that will drop somewhere between October and early November. So there is that as well. We have no new objective content here and it looks like we have no new milestone content. So it's messy, new era, and that's your content for today. If you enjoyed this video, man, just thanks for watching. I mean, it's anybody even tuning in to FIFA related SBC content reviews this late in the year, man. I appreciate your passion and your degeneracy for this game as I have it too. We'll be back again with another one of these videos again tomorrow. Very excited for all the future content that we have in just 10 days when AFC drops. Um, I'm also, once again, doing a giveaway on my Twitter channel that I will release, um, I believe, either on Thursday or Friday this week. Um, for a free copy of EAFC, not Ultimate Edition, but the Standard Edition. Um, you'll get PayPal, like the, the US-based cost of the game. 
Um, so that'll be on my Twitter. It'll be free to join. Um, so I will drop a tweet about that very soon. So if you want, the, my Twitter link is going to be in the description below. Head over, follow me on Twitter, and you might find yourself a chance to win a juicy little copy of BFC. And I'm not like the biggest creator, so you might have a really good chance of actually winning it. It won't be probably one where it's like 1,000. You might be one in a couple hundred, right? And that could be really nice to save yourself some cash. Um, and thank you for watching my content. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.